Hi, hello and welcome everybody to today's video. This time we'll be doing something I've done a few times in the past before. Today we are designing characters based on aesthetic items I found on Pinterest. As you can see, I've done a few of these before. I see it as a fun exercise and I encourage everyone who would like to get better at character design to try it out too, it's really really fun. Without any further ado, let's get right into the first one. I will be honest, I'm not the proudest of this one. I could have made it way more extra, but I was just warming up when drawing this. So I won't go too hard on myself. I chose a cute little flower cup to base this character on. The moment I saw the handle, I thought this character should be a mage. So I also made the petals her hat. I also made her hair white to simulate the gradient effect that the cup had. I decided to include the pattern of the tiny plate on her skirt as well. I thought that was a nice touch. The staff could have had a few branches trailing off of it. That would have made it look less plain, but oh well, it's a bit too late now. I really like how her eyes turned out though. I was able to do what I wanted with them. I wanted to make her look a bit shy and reserved, but still like she can probably hold a fight if she really wanted to, you know? Moving on to our next character, I chose this, I believe, hairpin accessory jellyfish. I find that accessories are always the most fun to design into characters because they usually already have very intricate details. I had a lot of fun with this design. I decided to include the dots placed in some places as pearls hanging from his outfit. Designing this flowy outfit was my favorite part. I already happened to have an OC that ended up looking a bit too jellyfish inspired, even though that was not even my intention, so I was trying hard not to repeat design elements from his design. I added the little fins from the accessory as the pants and I really like how they turned out. I only added the really dark blue to his hair so that this draws attention more than the rest of his design. When designing characters, it's important to consider where the eyes will be drawn and where they can rest. For this, consider having the focal point contrast with the rest of the design, either in terms of luminosity or hue, or both. This same logic can also apply to illustrations. When you think about it, a lot of illustration composition principles can also be applied to character design. So by studying one, you can still improve in another aspect too. I think my favorite example of mine in this case is a character I designed called Theo. I really like how I was able to place the reds in his design to really lead your eyes upwards to his face. And especially his umbrella, I think, turned out great, so I really like how he turned out in general. At the end, I wasn't sure whether to have him have dead fish eyes or to add shine in them, but I caved and added shine anyway.
moving on to our last character for today, I came across this very dynamic looking lamp and I immediately saw a female figure in it. So I took the opportunity and chose this because this way I can also have a bit of fun with the design of the hair. At first I wasn't sure what to do with the top part of the lamp, but I quickly figured out it could also be a great crown. Very interesting looking. I also ended up adding a bunch of gold accessories to the hair to imitate the patterns of the lamp itself. I made her eyes red to match the centerpiece of her dress. With the lines around the gem leading up to the face, it has a nice flow and it really leads the eyes across the design. I think out of all the characters I drew today, her design flows the best and the easiest to look at. Her shapes nicely complement each other and I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think she's my favorite out of these three. All three of these characters will be available as adoptables on my coffee shop, just like the other character designs of this kind that I've done before. Link will be in the description if you're interested. If you guys enjoyed seeing this type of character design video, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see art from me that doesn't make it into videos, you can check out my Instagram and Twitter at eris underscore vt. And if you'd like to read my webcomics, you can also find me on Webtoon by searching eris.png but all the links will be in the description down below. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, bye bye!